Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today on this episode of Dynamo BIM. Super exciting week. Revit 2023 has dropped, which means new version of Dynamo. And of course, Dynamo Player. And in my opinion, this is going to be reason enough for you to upgrade your models. There are some incredible updates to Dynamo Player and Dynamo. So let's take a look at a few of them. Now, in the sample model here, per usual, I'm going to go ahead and open up Dynamo Player and just take a look at some of the samples that come out of the box here with Dynamo Player. You can see Dynamo Player looks completely different. We have an image now associated to the script, a description below the script name. We can even integrate a URL that will take us to a resource on how to use that script, maybe an internal resource on your intranet or SharePoint page. We can edit the script in Dynamo, and by just clicking on the script, we can actually get into the inputs here, where we can actually see what that URL is, who the author is, and in addition, we have some additional visibility prefer preferences here, some display preferences in terms of whether we want to show node descriptions. You can see that this will actually allow us to further indicate what each input does within Dynamo Player, kind of giving our user a better indication on how to use it. And we can also now sort the nodes alphabetically, which at this time is a default, or not have them sort alphabetically, which will default back to their kind of position on Canvas, their order of placement, if you will. So if I edit this graph in Dynamo here, you can see that all of these options are now available through a Dynamo extension. So here up within the extensions tab, we can show graph properties. And here we have all of that wonderful information that we can add or edit for each script. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please let me know down below in the comments what you'd like to learn about next about this version of Dynamo.